the internet of things has really changed the way we live our daily lives welcome to life smarts so before now we used to just have products in our house for the sake of usability but you know in the 21st century things have changed we now consider not just the usability we are looking at the convenience that this product will give to us the glitz the glam it's all about lifestyle luxury you know and satisfaction so if you're with me i want you to stay back take a chill pill and i will introduce to you this company called life smarts here with me are some of the devices we sell and as well integrate into your homes well home automation is all about convenience and uh, as well as security so i'll walk you through a little bit of what i can show and yeah here are the switches i have with me we have the hubs what they do is basically download uh, commands from the internet and then send them to the switches these are the different kinds of switches we have we also have panels this is where you can control everything in your house and then we have cameras as well from your phone you can actually see what is going on around your environment even if you're far away so um we have curtains as well so i'm just going to give you a little demo of what you know the curtains uh, how we control our curtains and the switches so from your mobile app we have a mobile app from the app you can actually control the whole house and so yeah from my phone i can actually just open the curtains which is actually really interesting you can actually hear the sound of switches coming on yeah from my phone i can turn on the switches and as well there's a doorbell the whole idea is when someone rings your phone uh, your door you can see what's happening outside and yeah Security is one of the major things and one of the major challenges now that we are facing. So with LifeSmart, you, you tend to what, monitor your security, safety using what, our smart devices. So we have various smart devices that has to do with what, security, safety and convenience. For security, we have what, our smart door locks. So we have different designs of smart door locks that integrate with what, LifeSmart. So we have our smoke sensor, we have our motion sensors, we have environmental sensors, also we have our what, smart remote. So talking about voice command, you can be able to do what, ask what, a nanny to do what, your work for you. But with voice command, you'll be able to do what, give a command to all those devices and they'll be able to do what, execute the tax. So let me introduce you to what, Siri, Alexa and Google Home. So here we have Alexa, Google Cast and our Siri. So, at last smart, you guys are talking about security, efficiency, and safety. Mm -hmm. And you've introduced to us your smart plug yes. and your smart switches yes. that are generally controlled by the panel. Or you can use the panel as the interface yes. where you get to do your work from. Yes. You're saying that if I just buy a microwave today and I plug it to your smart plug, mm -hmm. I can use my phone from yes. my bedroom and control the, uh, what do you call it? The microwave. The microwave in the kitchen yes you can do that and open curtains yes and just ask the voice command to do whatever exactly. they need. you see don't you think this whole thing is for people who are very very wealthy so because talking about the price point if i can get all this convenience that i need the price point what's your cost like do you think it's just for the rich or the average middle class person can afford it okay with our own life smart system, it is a system whereby you can start from the beginning, thus you can just have the infrastructure. Mm. Later on, you can keep on building other devices. Okay. For instance, now you, today you can have the smart sensor, tomorrow you can add what? The smart remote. So you can keep on building, building, building till you get where you have a full home automation. automation. So you must not do everything at once. So the truth is, I saw your flyer. Yes. And I can see that some products start from like 
200 and something thousand or 300 and something thousand thereabouts. Yes. So I feel a lot of people can actually afford it. Yes, yes, It's yes, really yes. not for the wealthy, it's just yes. for people who want convenience yes. in their lives. Yes, we have different packages. Okay. Yes, ranging from what you want. Um, we have uh, packages for as if you want for a floor mm. or maybe you want for a space. Mm. Let's say you want uh, your living room to be integrated. So we can work on that and then we can build Let's say you, you integrate your living room to be automated and then you move on to your kitchen, then you move on to your dining, to your rooms and so on and so forth. So you just keep giving the yes. customer the quotes for uh, whatever they for want. For whatever they yeah. want. So you see, I find um, some of these devices to be quite interesting because yes. they are more like the babysitters of today. Exactly. You know, because like they really help a lot of people mm. to live their life conveniently, yes. you know, especially when you have kids yes. and they have to go to school, you have the school bus dropping them off mm. or, you know, a house help or somebody, a driver. But you're monitoring their movements, you know, they come to the door. Even when you close the door, you can automatically open the door yes. for them to assess the house even while you are at that, home. Yes, yes, you know, yes. they come in and if you have cameras inside the house, it practically monitors their movements. And in case maybe, you know, children can play and forget something. Yes, yes. And uh, maybe they go into the kitchen and try to make something and somebody is watching TV in the sitting room and they have put something inside the microwave or on top of the... Uh, the burner mm -hmm. you know you can conveniently watch and switch from yes, anywhere yes. but as much as this is good mm. we've also had situations where some of these devices now turn against you because mm. we've had hackers use them to actually spy on the owners of the house so what are you guys doing to actually safeguard your customers to make sure that your own products is not the same with what is happening out there our systems are integrated with firewalls uh, our hubs they have a security system mm -hmm. in which when a hacker tries to get in it blocks him okay. and when there's another attempt to get in it switches off itself automatically okay the device completely yes. shuts down it shuts down yeah. completely okay. so with that since you're no more on the internet you can't access the device so that's a, a, a way one of the ways we kind of block uh, hackers okay yes. so i think that's quite interesting mm -hmm. so you know as much as we're talking about the cameras you mm -hmm. know we've seen the siri yes. and what is her sister's name alexa alexa you know siri and alexa are like the modern house girls <laughs> that's the way i see them you just call them and you command them but we've also seen siri being creepy is this siri or alexa one of them is actually creepy it's alexa it's alexa yes. okay so why is that so it's still the question of security okay you know um things like alexa they also communicate directly to the internet mm. so once you give them a command they have a very broad knowledge where they tend to source from information, information. so even for alexa you just have specific words that you have to say for it to be able to execute that particular tax okay um, program for the particular house okay so i've seen that uh, there's a feature on one of your devices mm -hmm. that actually blocks the camera that maybe some other persons do not have please can we see that okay that's this particular camera yeah so bring it, bring it. yes can just bring it close. yes okay so you can see this you see how um this is um alexa alexa yes. you can see how this device is and um if i you can see this button so by the time this button, once I do this, you have a camera here that is visible and you can shut it down when you're not comfortable, just in case. So because, you know, these things are, are made by humans yeah. mm. and you cannot uh, take out human error yes. at the end of the day. So you guys are doing whatever you can do okay. to actually increase the level of security. So and also the door. Yes, and the so door tell lock. us of the feature that you have on your... Okay, for our, for our own door lock, it has um, various entry access. Okay. Either I use the fingerprint, passcode, hardware key, or a card. Okay. You can even remotely open the door. That means you can set a temporary password to open the door. Okay. So what you need to do is to set up the door lock, then you activate the fingerprint that you want to be using for the door. Mm -hmm. Then you also set a password and you activate the card. Mm -hmm. So and if you have a visitor, you can also open the door without even coming there. You just set a password, open the door and it's going to open. Yeah. Yes. Oh, nice. So um, I'm seeing smoke detectors, 
and uh, smart remotes mm. and uh, some sensors for and staircase you know mm. like before now mm. you just climb the staircase anyhow but now yes. you have lights you yeah. know that would just lead some people even put it underneath their beds some people put it in the toilets mm. even on the toilet seat yes. you know yes, with sir. the whole, whole scale of yeah. snake entering you know i don't want to say you know now you say <laughs> i'm black belly i'm just saying because okay. if you have that kind of technology mm. inside your toilet you could actually see if there's something creepy yes, you know yes, happening yes, yes, around yes. you so for the smart remote it's purely for convenience mm -hmm. you just sitting on your bed and using a remote to on the light, on the TV, yeah. on the AC, turn off the curtains, all those things. Yeah. So the smart remote is basically for convenience. So for the gas detector, you know, we have recent cases of gas exploding in someone's household oh, yeah. because you don't get to get the smell of gas if okay. it's exposed. So this particular device will help you to sense the level of gas. gas and okay. if this level is high, it's going to raise an alarm, alarm because it's also connected to the what, smart system. So it's going to notify you by sending so many messages mm -hmm. and also going to raise an alarm to tell you that okay at so so location mm -hmm. there's so so level of gas which means you're in danger mm -hmm. you understand so you need to go there and instead of lighting up the space you see how you can manage the situation as it is so all i'm going to say is yes um i want to add on the okay. environmental sensors we have environmental sensors that detects the temperature of the environment mm -hmm. basically of the space so if you're in, if the living room is getting so hot, it tells the AC that the, te the temperature around that space is hot. So the AC turns on, and then it turns on to the level of temperature that you are uh, programmed to be. Okay. In, uh, 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 what do I say? To be moderate. Moderate yes. as much yes, as, as, as you much want as you, it. Yeah, as much as you want it. Yeah. So that the temperature of the space becomes normal, mm -hmm. not too hot and probably not too cold so guys all i just want to tell you is that these guys are just selling the technology that is taking the job of your house girl and your gate man yes because they also have siri and what's the other girl's name alexa alexa she, they, actually they are guys <laughs> are they guys yes they are guys <laughs> They are boy boy that you can send anywhere. So what they are trying to tell you is that with some with some good money, not really expensive, they are really, really, really affordable. affordable. Yeah. So you understand. And they are saying that they're giving you a chance to actually upgrade your life. So you move from that ordinary OB to extraordinary OB with automated house that you can sit down and send everybody on an errand from your camera to your boy boy guys that are answering on your voice command <laughs> to everybody in your kitchen and your living room they will watch your children and all of that so if you need all of these services life smart is your sure plug so where and where can we find life smart in nigeria you can find us here in garki abuja here and you can find us also in Lekki at lagos okay yes. so they are here in abuja in garki yes to be precise somewhere in ladoke boulevard boulevard yes. yes so where you have the former access bank yes. that is where they are and uh, you can also find them like you said in Lekki in lagos so guys come and buy your boy boy you have solution for month. every single person they said they get solution but every all i know person. is that it's boy boy that they are selling <laughs> So thank you guys and thank you. see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>